Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So if you start to do research into traditional Korean pojagi, then you're going to start to hear different words. And one of those words is jogakbo. Now, a pojagi is a wrapping cloth. So it's a piece of fabric that was used to wrap things, to carry them, to store them, to give us gifts, etc. But there were different specific words that were used for specific kinds of pojagi, depending on how it was made, what it was made out of, what its use was, who it was going to be for. So there were lots of different, more specific words. And so jogakbo is one of those specific words, and that is used for patchwork. So that was a pujagi that was made out of small pieces of fabric put together. And sometimes this was reversible patchwork, and sometimes it was patchwork that did have a lining on it. But it is a piece that was made from sewing scraps of fabric together. Now it's interesting that pojagi does have kind of a similar history to quilting in that in um, old times in Korea, people would have these wrapping cloths and people that were very wealthy would have large pieces of silk and they might be intricately embroidered or stamped and they would be very big and beautiful. And then poorer people who couldn't afford such big pieces of fabric they saved scraps left over from making clothing and other household items, and they stitched those together. And so back in the day when they were first being made, then having a patchwork pojagi um, would have been a sign of poverty or a sign that you weren't as wealthy. And now those pieces are recognized for their beauty and they're collected and they're displayed. If you go to the Seoul Museum of Craft, you can see some there that are hundreds of years old that are recognized for their art form and they're displayed in a museum. And so similar to quilting, something that started off from necessity is now recognized for its beauty. And so um, jogakbo just means patchwork and so now often it's used for patchwork for things more than just wrapping cloth. It can be anything that is made with patchwork. So a pojagi might be jogakbo or it might not. And jogakbo might be used to make pojagi and it might not. So these terms, they are not exactly the same, but there is a lot of overlap with them. For more information about pojagi and inspiration for making a project, you can check out ebitastudio.com. Mm -hmm.